subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In this tutorial, we will explore the concept of cross-validation for evaluating the performance of k-means clustering in Python. Cross-validation is a widely used technique in machine learning to assess how well a model generalizes to new data. We will use the popular scikit-learn library for k-means clustering and cross-validation. Before we begin, make sure you have the necessary libraries installed. You can install them using the following command. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's generate synthetic data using the make underscore blobs function from scikit-learn. You can replace the step with your own data set. Now, let's define a function that performs k-means clustering and returns a cross-validation score. We will use the silhouette score as our clustering evaluation metric. In this function, x is the input data, n underscore clusters is the number of clusters to fit, and cv is the number of folds for cross-validation. We are using the negative mean squared error as the scoring metric, but you can replace it with other clustering metrics like silhouette score or adjusted rand index. Now, let's iterate over different values of k to find the optimal number of clusters using cross-validation. This code snippet will output the cross-validation scores for different values of k. Choose the value that maximizes the score as it indicates the optimal number of clusters. In this tutorial, we explored how to perform cross-validation for k-means clustering in Python using scikit-learn. We generated synthetic data, implemented the cross-validation function, and evaluated different values of k to find the optimal number of clusters. You can apply this approach to your own datasets and fine-tune the number of clusters based on cross-validation results. ChatGPT